Hey Capricorn, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Capricorn. So if you're a Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or if you have a stellium in Capricorn, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, I reply. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Now, if you do resonate with this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Also, keep in mind, energy is fluid. Rose can get reversed, so take how it resonates. someone who's very very defensive they were very stubborn this person had the need to be in control the reason this person is uh, like this or the reason this person was very coming from the place of ego and pride and everything is because this person is wounded they have been wounded in the past for some of you, this person, you could be holding back from this person. You could have blocked this person. And because you are blocking this person, because you are holding back from this person, this person is doing the same. Like they are behaving in the same way. It's sort of like them mirroring um, you, that energy back. This person, for some of you, is holding on to, like they are a little bit obsessed with you as as well here even though they are holding back for some of you this person is still uh, very obsessed with you but they are unhappy that things are not going or things did not go the way they would like it to go they are unhappy about that of fortune six of swords fixed signs star scorpio leo aquarius all right yeah for some of you this person is just holding on to the idea that this is not over even though capricorn is behaving this way even though capricorn is very guarded right now or they are closed off towards me I know this this is not over because this person has a lot of emotions for you king of cups so this is someone who's holding on to those emotions they're taking all those emotions and putting it inside bottling them up for some of you this person even though they had a lot of emotions for you they never expressed those emotions because they were too afraid to open up they were scared uh, of, of what has happened in the past this person's past this person's childhood something has happened 333 there and they didn't want to open up because of that. For some of you, this person is, you know, they tried to make the head of a hard decision. They tried to do it. They tried to move on. They tried to make the head of a hard decision. They tried holding back. It's almost like this person did try everything they possibly could to make sure that they don't over, you know, to make sure that they are in control over this connection, over their heart, over themselves. It's almost, almost like being vulnerable or being emotional for this person means that They will lose control over themselves and this person doesn't want to lose control over themselves Two 
cards. Sorry, I, I don't know why I took out two cards here. I was gonna take out two cards. Sorry, one card, and I took out two cards here. Pisces or Cancer, you could be dealing with. Well, you have feelings for this person, and this person has feelings for you as well. You both have feelings for each other. But you both are in a stalemate situation. They are holding back. You are observing this person. You are holding back as well. They are holding back. You are holding back. Remember how I said like you could be very defensive. You could be holding back from this person here. And this person is doing the same thing. You both are holding back from each other. Even though you both have feelings for each other. It's very possible you had expressed their, your emotions to this person, but this person didn't. So you could have, you could have just said to this person, like, like you need some sort of clarity, right? You can't be the only one who's expressing their emotions, only one who's giving to this connection. They have to do something from their side as well. upright here you are pessimistic about this person here that's why you're holding back from them you, you're not sure you're unsure about what is going on with this person you're unsure about what is this person's intention it's almost like this person never said anything to you clearly You had to figure out for yourself whether this person has emotions for you, whether they have feelings for you, what do they want, do they care about you, do they want you. For some of you, even though they had emotions for you, you could tell they had emotions for you, this person would still run away. They would still block you and run away from time to time because they would get overwhelmed by their own emotions and that would leave you more confused. It's almost like you just wanted this person to open up. And you're tired of feeling this uncertainty here. You're tired of investing in this connection, being consistent, being patient, waiting for this person to open up. But they just wouldn't. They just wouldn't express themselves. So you're like, I, I can't do this anymore. So you stopped giving to this person, you stopped investing in this connection and you held back. It's almost like you surrendered this connection to the universe. If it's meant to be, it will happen. I, I, I don't know what else am I supposed to do. I've already done everything. fighting themselves they were fighting their own emotions for no reason at all this person was trying to rebel and and get rid of their own emotions is what i'm getting for somebody this person was just trying to get rid of their own emotions 
for some of you this person could have just given you the excuse oh i'm not looking for a commitment i don't want to get married i'm not looking for that sort of an uh, that that's not what i'm looking for right now i i never want to get married like excuses what i'm getting is this person could have given given excuses as to why they are not being vulnerable they are not opening their heart yeah two of swords in reverse at the bottom of the deck you are dealing with someone who's very emotionally detached a lot of mental things goes is going on in this person this person is overthinking a lot mentally they are very overstimulated this person also is someone who's indecisive has a lot of anxiety as well for some of you they might not ever reveal that that they ha they have anxiety or uh, they are feeling very anxious they are overthinking everything everything they might not ever reveal that but do they feel that yes We have the King of Cups, the King of Swords, and the King of Wands. A lot of defensiveness from this person's energy. And yes, this person could have blocked you and run away. Remember how I said this person has always has been making head over heart decisions. They are doing the same thing. They have emotions for you, but they are still trying to fight against their own emotions. They are still trying to. It's almost like this person just keeps planning and strategizing. That's all. That's all they do. Nothing more than that. No actions. And remember how I said you could have left it to the universe if it's supposed to happen, if it's meant to happen, it will. This person has left that as well. But it's in from this person's side, it's more like they're too scared to take any action. They're too scared that they're going to fail. They're too scared to open up. So they're like, oh, if it's meant to be, it will happen. Universe will handle it. The reluctancy of trying to make the effort themselves. That's what this person is doing. They're just leaving it on the universe. person six and seven of swords it's like this person is running away from the because six and seven of swords in the mix we have the ace of swords this person is running away from their own or from the clarity also what i'm getting they know this person understands and knows that they have they they are the problem here this is the issue they are having they are the problem they self-sabotage this is someone who sabotages something good they will sabotage, they might have sabotaged this relationship, they might have, this person might sabotage anything good happening in their own life. Because that is a habit this person has. Because they're too scared to be happy, they're too afraid to be happy. And therefore they keep sabotaging things, good things in their life. They keep holding back, they keep being defensive. This person also could be someone who gets angry very easily or they, they, try, they fight very easily. Even though there's no reason to fight, they're still fighting. feeling lost, this, uh, feeling anxious, like hopeless. You feel a hopeless, uh, you feel hopeless and pessimistic about the situation right now. That is why you are not doing anything. That is why you're holding back and just 
observing this person and trying to find the truth, trying to find the clarity yourself. It's almost this energy of you understand where this person is coming from. You understand they have had some tough problems and issues from their childhood or from their past, but that's not an excuse to keep, you know, like this person is making that as an excuse as to why they are the way they are. You have been way too disappointed in this connection and you are very pessimistic about this person. You are choosing your own happiness here because you are you don't think about this person. You cannot think about this person right now in an optimistic way. You have, for some of you, have given emotionally invested and being very, being very consistent and caring and loyal and everything. But you have reached the breaking point because you can't you can't be the only one who's pulling the weight of the connection if you're not receiving for some of you this very well might have seemed one-sided at one point and you feel like this problem can be solved but this person is not they, they are still being the same way you have been too overwhelmed. You need to heal and take a break and calm yourself. And I think that's what you're doing with the sun here. Eight of swords, nine of swords, five of cups. rather be single I would much rather be single uh, explore enjoy my own company and focus on myself rather than being abandoned over and over again hang on repeat it twice in your energy and the nine of pentacles you were just choosing to be single and look at how she's looking away from this energy here, right? So you are just choosing to be single. Like, I'm better off single. For some of you, you have just taken all your attention and started putting it some somewhere else. Just so that you don't have to think about this person, you don't... Like you are trying your best to not worry or think or care about this connection or person right now. Because you have been too overwhelmed. You're, you're, you have become too confused. You don't know what else you should be doing. Should you be leaving? Should you be just letting this go completely? You are making some decisions in your own life. Because hand man repeated to us, it's a very spiritual card that is trying to see things from a different perspective. That is a very wise card. The hangman is a very wise card. You're choosing to liberate yourself from this connection. that you're still not completely over them like if they apologize to you in the right way if they bring you an offer towards you in the right way then it is going to work like you are you might still give them a chance this person is aware of it they see you as someone who is waiting for a proper apology proper offer and a heart-to-heart -heart kind of conversation where this person opens their heart and actually tells you what is going on inside what has been going on inside all along the 
But some of you, this person knows that you know they have feelings for you. You know that. of wands the bottom of the deck you could be dealing with an aries but yeah this person feels like you are totally in control of your own environment own energy own feelings right now you're just taking control you have taken control of over things and you have made it very very clear to this person that you are done putting up with their indecisiveness bs whatever they were doing You're done with that. For some of you, you could have really held on to this person and tried to make this work. We do have the Four of Pentacles upright here, right? Now we have the Four of Pentacles in reverse. You, you might have, for some of you, might have tried to hold on to this connection, hold on to this person, this relationship, this situation, whatever this was, and try to make it work. This person knows that you are very open with them. You are very caring. You had a lot of compassion and empathy for them. You understood them. You understood where they were coming from. And that is why you, you, you tried your best. You spent energy off again. You tried your best with them. So now this person feels that you're not showing them the same level of empathy anymore. You're not showing them the same level of compassion. You're not holding on to them. You're not holding on to making this connection work. Some of you could have behaved in a stubborn way. You know, like, I really want this to work out. So I'm going to put my, go all in. But now this person feels you are not doing that anymore. You have a plan as to what you want in your life, what you want to manifest, and that's where you're going. That's where you're heading. Very mature kind of a decision, you know, moving forward. Stop being in this Ten of Swords energy over and over. Stop feeling like this Ten of Swords energy over and over. Letting go of that pain, that betrayal. person was very un, unjust to you. you you are holding on to your attitude that upright attitude you're holding on to that you feel like this person doesn't know how to take accountability for anything so unless until and unless they know how to take accountability until and unless they're fair to you they come towards you in the right way they bring a proper offer a proper apology a proper offer proper heart to heart conversations you're not going to be fooled by love anymore you're not going to be blinded by love not even fooled blinded by love anymore can't come towards me in the right way but don't bother coming You have said, you have laid the law here. Also, we have the emperor, right? This is Aries and justice. This is Libra. So these are counterparts to each other. Again, that's very strong energy. You have made a very strong, harsh decision here. And you were sticking to that decision.
still got your energy. Yeah, you have the devil and the three of pentacles in reverse. You see this person as someone who is very unhealthily stuck in their own ways. Yeah, ten of cups at the bottom of the deck. You see, you see this person as very someone who is very unhealthily stuck in things and ways that are, that are not good. They are stuck. You see this person is stuck. They have issues, they have woundings, they have traumas. And they are stuck to those woundings. They, they are bound to that woundings. No one is bound here. Because they, their hands are not tied here. On the devil, their hands are not tied. If they want, they can get this chain off and walk out. But it's like you, you see this person as someone who is choosing to stay in their ways, be stuck in their ways. Even if they have the option, they're not choosing otherwise. And everybody has the option. There's always there's always a choice. And this person is not choosing. This person is choosing not to collaborate. They're choosing not to work on themselves and work on this. So what can you do? They know they can have this happiness. They can feel it. This person knows it. They feel it. They sense it. Because the King of Cups is an intuitive energy. But even though they do all of that, they, they would just wouldn't budge and change their ways. in reverse the devil in reverse yeah this person that, that's the same energy repeating this person they don't they lack the motivation they lack the direction to do anything about their life i am this way i'm going to be this way that's it you you there's this energy of Capricorn being very very frustrated with this person. You could be dealing with another Capricorn here if I didn't already mention. But you are very frustrated with this person. You are very frustrated with this person lacking direction, not having the motivation, not changing their ways, even if they have the opportunity to. This is someone who's re who resists change. There's a lot of stubbornness from this person's side and they just keep resisting change. That's it. Too afraid, too scared. Heart is, this person's heart chakra is too blocked and they need some serious help. This person needs help. This person needs to overcome whatever issue there is with this person. That could very well be stubbornness and everything. But... seeing dreams about you as well four of swords and two of cups oh look at that king of cups queen of cups yeah you have your heart open and you are vulnerable and everything. See? Yeah. They need to find direction. They need to move forward. The, the problem here is, the challenge here is, this person is not making a move here. They don't have any plan. They know you have so much feelings for them, but they are just too scared and too stubborn and too 
the first card is always the most dominant energy the four of pentacles being the first card in this person's energy that is like pride ego everything refusal to take any action refusal to move forward refusal to let go of the old patterns old cycles close the chapter on the old They want this new beginning with you, Ace of Pentacles. This is the cornerstone to the Ten of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is a very good energy. But look at that. And again, they have feelings. King of Cups, they have feelings for you. They want this new beginning. But this person has no confidence, zero confidence. They can make it happen. They are stuck in their head. They are overthinking. They, this person loses sleep. They lose sleep at the idea of approaching you. At the idea of having a stable relationship, commitment. They lose sleep. And, and not to mention this person feels like if they do approach you, you might get disappointed in them again. Or they, it's, it's almost like someone thinking that they are a disappointment themselves. They are disappointed in themselves. This person is disappointed in themselves. The amount of stuckness in this person's energy. This person is disappointed in themselves because they want it. They have feelings for you, but they can't have it. They can't move forward. Sorry. They can't move forward. It's almost like this person can have everything, but they, they can't have it. person trying to make this person notice you and everything that's not gonna work you need to well this is an earth energy right you need to focus you need to be a little more practical you need to focus on the practical aspects of life their intuition as well we have the high priestess yes you feel an unfinished business with this person and yes this person sorry this person might find the courage to approach you someday one day but that is not happening right now that is not happening right now at least for the at least not for the time period this reading is for You need to stop thinking about this missed opportunity. What could have happened, the potential, the possibility. You need to stop thinking about that. And just focus on stable, stability. Focus on the practical aspects of life. And just listen to your intuition. Meditate. Listen to your intuition. Well, that's your reading. Uh, keep it on. I hope you found some clarity through this reading. I'll see you guys in your next reading. Until then, take care, guys. Bye-bye.